Hey guys, welcome back to Light Tech. I'm Jim Jansen, and today we're going to continue our video training series on smart licensing with Cisco's Meeting Server and Meeting Manager. Today we're going to configure and troubleshoot those two servers. So let's go and troubleshoot Light Tech. Welcome back to Like Tech. I'm Jim Jansen, and I have my browser now open to Cisco Meeting Management, Cisco Software Central, and Cisco Meeting Server. Since all our configuration and troubleshooting will take place on Meeting Management, we're going to log into that server. We arrive at the overview page, and we see a notification error. At least one server is running a software version earlier than 3.0, which is not supported by meeting management. As the partner or the IT professional, I'm going to go to Logs, Detail Trace, and turn up my server API tracing. Next, we're going to go to Settings in the licensing page. We're going to look at the licensing page for a moment and see what has to be accomplished in order to get smart licensing enabled on CMM. First, we see that we have to choose a licensing mode. We currently see it set to smart licensing. We also have to choose our transport settings. And we also have to go to the smart software manager, which takes us to this Cisco Software Central to choose some tokens. Once we get the token, we can come back here, click on register, and apply the token. So let's look at change the license mode. On this page right here, we have three options smart licensing traditional licensing, and no licensing. On our previous video, we only saw the smart licensing and no licensing options on this page. We never saw the traditional licensing. And that has to do with the notification error that we saw earlier. So let's cancel that and try to troubleshoot that. So if we go to the server page, we do see the CMS3 uh, server, which is running version 3.0. But we also have this one node here, CMS Core 2, which is running 2.9.2. It's part of a cluster. Maybe you're building out this cluster on CMM or it accidentally got put into this CMM or you're migrating. And this particular version, 2.9.2, is causing you to receive that error in the notification area. So you either have to upgrade this server to 3.0 to be in compliance with the CMM or you're going to remove it like I'm going to do because this server is being managed by another CMM server. Now I'm in compliance, so let's go back to settings and licensing. And I go to the change licensing again. And you notice I don't have the traditional licensing option anymore. I only have smart licensing and no licensing. In your CMM deployments, you may have multiple CMM servers uh, managing multiple clusters around the globe or in your geographical location. In that case, you only need one CMM server that's going to manage all the licenses for all your clusters. The rest of the CMM servers will be set to no licensing as video operators can control conferences without having to worry about tracking licensing. They'll have more space for CDR reports and things like that. So let's choose smart licensing. I see successfully changed licensing mode to smart licensing is my message to me. Then I'm going to go down to edit the transport settings. In transport settings, I can choose direct, which is going to send an HTTPS message to smartreceiver.cisco.com forward slash lice service forward slash license. I can also enable my HTTPS proxy for my corporation, enter my proxy address and port number, to that uh, transport, or I can choose Transport Gateway, which is basically the smart software satellite server, which is on-prem 
and it contains a repository of licenses in your database, which will periodically connect to the Cisco Software Smart Manager in the cloud and verify your licenses. In our situation here, we're going to use the HTTPS proxy since I have a proxy in front of my CMM server. Okay, my transport settings have been updated successfully. So the next step I have to do is go to this Cisco Software Central and look for a token. The token here is going to be for CMS Jim Jansen. I drop down and choose to copy that to my clipboard. The portal tells me I got the token. I come back to CMM and then I go to register. I paste the token into the register box here and we'll try to register. Sometimes it comes fast, sometimes it takes some time. Hopefully we'll go there really quickly and get a message back that we've registered. Okay, we see that we have an unexpected error during our registration process. So we have to figure out what was causing the problem and we have to download some log bundles. You remember we turned up our log bundles here. So what we have to do is go to log bundle and download the log bundle. Okay, I have downloaded the log bundle and extracted it. And I wanna to go to the CMM log. In the CMM log, we're gonna to try to troubleshoot why I could not get to smart licensing server. The main goal of the CMM is to try to resolve this URL. Smart receiver.cisco.com. So let's troubleshoot that. Okay, I come up here and I see an error. It says an exception, max tries the HTTPS connection pool for host. And it tells me the host, smartreceiver.cisco.com port 443 has exceeded its attempts. And why is it saying that I cannot reach that lice service slash license? Uh, gives me an error, let's keep on going. And it says here, failed to establish a new connection. Name or service not known. What were we talking about by name or service not known? So basically what this server is trying to tell us here is I try to do a DNS lookup for smartreceiver.cisco.com, but I could not find it. So we need to go back to the CMM server to address the DNS issue. So let's go back there. So back on meeting management, we're going to go down to settings and network. And we look at the DNS server. And this DNS server, I know, is the wrong server because the last octet is wrong. So I want to correct that server and save it. It requires a reboot for any network changes on CMM, so I'm going to restart it now. And it takes quite a while for it to reboot, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I'm back in meeting management, and I corrected my DNS issues, but I have notifications here now that says notifications will appear here. There's no errors anymore, but I do see that the licensing state for meetings, recording, and customization is totally unlicensed. So let's go back and address those licensing issues and see if we can't get this fixed again. So we go back to our licensing page. We've already changed our licensing mode to smart licensing. We've set the, the transport mode for a proxy server. And again, I'm gonna cancel the registration because that was happening from last time we were trying to troubleshoot the DNS issue. So let's try to go get a, a token again. Copy, come back, and we'll try to register. And let's register again with that token. Again, like I said, it takes a little bit of time. Let's wait for the error message or the successful registration. Okay, so we have another unexpected error. I wish there was a little bit more verbose information about that, but we're gonna to have to cancel that. We're gonna to have to go back to our logs and our log bundle and download a new log. Okay, we've downloaded our log bundle for CMM and extracted it here. We're gonna go back into CMM and we're gonna find that smartreceiver.cisco.com and look for that in the bundle. 
we're going to go to the error message here, and what we see is an exception for the proxy error. HTTPS connection pool, hostname, smartreceiver.cisco.com, port 443, max retries exceeded. If we scroll over a little bit, exceeded with URL slash lice service slash license. Caused by proxy error. Cannot connect to the proxy. So it's pretty blatant. It's pretty obvious that we have some kind of transport error with our proxy. If that's not enough information, we can see that failed to establish new connection error 113, no route to host. So let's go back to the CMM server to address our proxy issue. We are back on our Cisco meeting management server and we're going to go ahead and address that proxy transport issue. So we'll go back to settings, we will go to our licensing, and we will click on the edit transport settings. When I get there, I see that my proxy address is wrong. I fat fingered it as it's 172.18.108.61 is wrong. It should be 172.18.108.60. So I'll change that and save it now. Now that the transport settings have been updated with the correct proxy server, we can go ahead and register smart licensing for CMM. We'll go return back to the Software Central portal we will grab a token. As I've demonstrated before, we can choose copy, but there's also another way we can grab the token. We can grab it by clicking on the token and then copying it. We can do copy and paste by grabbing the token, do a control C, come back to the CMM and click register and paste the token in. And then we click register. Immediately we come back with an error saying the product instant registration token you entered is invalid or has expired. Ensure that you have pasted in the entire token and that the token has not expired. We would go back to the Cisco Software Central to make sure that the token is not expired or been revoked and that we have the correct token. If this error message is not enough for you, we can also download some logs. And I'll go ahead and do that and we'll look at the, what the log says. Okay, I've downloaded a fresh log bundle from CMM. I'm going to go back into the CMM log. And I'm going to do a find for this message. Sappy.errors.response error. When I find the error, I see that that error has failed. And it shows me that the token and the token that is hidden is not valid. So if we looked at the error on the web GUI and we weren't confident that that was the problem, we could definitely see it in the log here also. So let's go back and fix our token error. Okay, we're back at Cisco Meeting Management and we're gonna go ahead and address our token issue. We'll scroll down again to Settings and Licensing and I'll open my registration box. I will return to Cisco Software Central to get a new token. If you observed last time, I clicked on the token and then I intentionally left off the last character A in this token, which is why the token was refused by CMM. For this reason, I always like to go back to actions and use copy. That way it copies the whole token to my clipboard. I can return to CMM and then paste the entire token there and click register. In a few moments here, we're going to have a registration uh, completion on the CMM, and we do see that now. We see it was registered September 1st. No licenses are currently being used by the Cisco meeting server. We also see that the smart account information is populated with internal test demo account 8.cisco.com and a virtual account of Cisco TAG Telepresence Team RTP. If this information was incorrect, you need to go back to your uh, Cisco Software Central and get the correct token and update your server. Please note we have some other options here. We have the option to renew an authorization if there's a network outage, or we can renew the registration now, due for the same reason of a network outage, or we can re-register our product. 
We can also deregister the product, but please note, if you deregister your CMM, you'll have to go back to Cisco Software Central to get a new token again to register your CMM. I hope this video training has been informative, and if you like troubleshooting like tech, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Like Tech, for future video training. Thank you and have a good day.